Good evening. This, this, I'm kind of out of my comfort zone here. This isn't me bigging myself up or anything. This is me just responding to a request, which was to see who I had geared 12 so far. I uh, currently have 29, yeah, 29 gear 12s. Um, I filtered them for gear tier, as you can see, and strangely, Jin is first. So, <clears throat> I'll, I'll just go. I'll just go over them, and then I'll see if I can go through them. I'm not sure. Might be a long video. This. Um, okay. So I'm just thinking. There they all are. You can see all my gear 12s. And we'll just go into each character. Um, so Jin, you see her feature in my territory battles if you watch them. Um, you can see here that she only actually has one ability max so far, which is her truncheon strike. Um, there are options there, obviously. I'll go into briefly here. Here are stats with the mods that I'm running. So you, you can see it's crit damage, crit chance. 58% critical chance I've got on her because of the bonus that you get when she crits. I believe she gives turn meter. We'll go and check it out. Speed wise, 257, uh, which isn't too bad, I'm thinking, considering it's crit damage, crit chance. Can see here it's uh, so her speed is boosted by 94. Um, chance that I could speed it up a bit, but and just coming back to this deal physical damage to target enemies 70% chance to gain advantage for two turns. Oh, actually, my bad. All right, so it just increases damage on there. Deal physical da uh, right, we'll, we'll cover what is there. Deal physical damage to all enemies and grant target enemy, target other ally 100% turn meter. If any critical hits are scored, revive a random rebel ally with 20% max health for each critical hit scored. Well, there you go. So there's the revive there. Truncheon strike, I did do because it's very quick cooldown. Deal physical damage to target enemy and remove all turn meter. Jin gains that much turn meter on a critical hit. Stun the target for one turn. So again, although that is, is that a special? It is a special. And then obviously there's her leads and stuff. So that's Jin. Ben, elegant form and mind tricks so far. Haven't done the other one there. Try get him moving a bit. He's up to 211. Um, and you can see he's got decent health protection going on as well. But then he should have, he's a tank. Um, yeah. Fives maxed except for tactical awareness. He's gear 12 for his pilot. Basically, I've... Other than using him in Heroic Tank, um, that's the only place he gets an airing, but it's all on the ship. He's set for Heroic Tank, so his speed isn't there. Um, it doesn't need to be, because as soon as you shoot him, he's, you know, if you've got speed down, he's going to double tap you. Um, Right, his physical damage could improve, I suppose. If his critical chance is quite high, as you can see, high potency or high-ish potency, just to try and land. But you can see a lot of crit chance and everything on him um, because you, I want him to crit as much as possible because, as I say, he, he's tanky. Heroic tank, that is. Um, I like this character. CHS, Captain Han Solo, um, 216 speed, um, I believe, yeah, it's a health mod there at the moment, um, but then he's a healer, so 
and I've maxed out this well everything except for nick of time which is the Zeta uh, which I must admit is very attractive I'm I'm planning something else though so yeah Captain Han oh speak of the devil this I really really am looking at doing this next rampage and I'm also thinking that as I only need two more of those and I've got 81 of these I'm about to have two Mark 12 Armatec bayonets so she may even get that on uh, yeah but here's my Asajj um, again crit damage crit chance on there so speed 191 there are a couple of things to factor in here um, one is that she get she gains 30 speed under a Towsin lead or even under her own lead um, she gains 30 speed which would put her at 221 and then she can gain an additional 105 from um, debuffing or the enemies having no buffs she gains 15 speed for each enemy without a buff so put that into context that puts that means that she can actually hit 326 something right something like that i don't know why i'm testing my maths whilst going through here but as you can see she's maxed except for mr beardy mr beardy is maxed um if you saw i actually maxed him on the day that i unlocked him i went into horde mode from the moment i started getting his shards so that i could get him up and running immediately great tune um, I have moved and changed his mods around from when he started off, but he's still, you know, he's still respectable. 221. You can see he's got over 100k on health and protection. Um, he is actually the proud recipient of a Gear 12 piece as well, so he has got the Armatec armor plating. Cool dude. My Chirrut. Chirrut's maxed all the way through. Um, crit damage, crit chance on him. 221 speed. Uh, to be honest, I, I think I moved some of the mods from him onto other tunes. Uh, he's probably not maxed. Super duper, but does the job. Partner in crime. Again, all the attacks and abilities are maxed and yeah I mean I've got him on what's that 87 88k health protection but he soaks quite a lot up and he gets healed quite a bit as well so yeah Baze oh Sith Assassin um, another victim of mod gate as in um i have moved mods from her with the shift in the meta so speed wise she isn't as fast as she can be clocking in at 246 and that's kind of with second rate mods as well um and i have recently gear 12 her but i do 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 like Sith Assassin and I also like Sith Trooper so here's my Sith Trooper um, crit damage crit chance which uh, is quite amusing considering he nearly always runs under a Nihilus lead but he's packing a bit of a punch there he's 3492 on his physical damage special damage isn't too bad either so yeah Sith Trooper Biggs. Um, did him for his ship. Gotta be honest, I did. And another victim of Modgate as well. Um, I've moved mods around. 
So his speed now is 181. Yeah, but he packs a punch. Um, and I do actually, I could do that, which I'm sure will boost his ship. And at some point I will. But um, Omegas are in short supply. And as you can see, other tunes could really use them. This guy for one, definitely. Um, that would be quite useful, wouldn't it, to just reduce the cooldown on that because that is great. And um, this one as well. Uh, nah, I need that one doing so that he just works better with or under a gin lead. 206 speed. So again, I mean, I can, yeah. At some point, I will work on that. But as I say, it's doing the job for me. So, old Dakar. Again, gear 12. Um, just her lead and her unique. Both, oh, actually, no, it's not. Okay, so it's only three. I'm at. It's not too bad, is it? Only three Omegas um, and a Zeta that eventually will go on. 203 speed. Um, just to highlight again on their health, 20k by the way, yeah. Because that's important with her is to have a decent amount of health. Um, and again, of course, she gets the 30 boost, 30 speed boost. Um stun chance is increased on there and chant of resurrection revive a random defeated night sister ally at one health with 35 percent chance doubled on night sisters to re revive other defeated allies at one health all allies recover health equal to 50 percent of old dacca's maximum health hence me saying that the health is important with her Death Trooper, everything except for Krennix Guard done. Krennix Guard again is uh, a Zeta. Um, yeah, maybe, but at the moment I just can't warrant putting that on there. Clocking in at 219, has he got my? Yeah, look at that, plus 20 speed on there. That is such a sweet mod. Um, yeah, 219. So he's clocking in at a fair old rate. Night Sister Acolyte. Again, all abilities are maxed. And um, a fence and some crit chance. That is what I went for there. So crit chance is at 48%. I can't remember why I put the crit chance on there. Look at that special damage though. That is 5371. She does pack a punch. And again, of course, she's going to get the plus 30 speed being under a Towsin lead. Deal physical damage to target enemy with 70% chance to gain stealth for two turns. Then if Night Sister Acolyte has stealth, she attacks again. There we are. Oh, it's on critical hit. It's under a special though, isn't it? Gain, yeah. This attack gains 20% critical damage for each active Night Sister ally and each debuffed enemy. Yeah, that's um, yeah, I like I'm liking her at the moment. Poe, as you can see, um, only has two of his abilities, um, that would probably help a bit. Uh, speed wise, he's pretty quick 259, 58% potency there. And my only resistance that is gear 12 at the moment, I believe. Boba, 
Boba is just Boba, isn't he? Everything except is unique um, with the number and constant use of kind of Terminate, Annihilate. Um, I'm missing one there, but there is another one as well. Um, yeah, I just didn't see the point in putting that on there. Although I'm sure his ship would benefit from there. Uh, potency and offence on him, 223 speed. Haven't looked at his mods in ages, actually. R2-D2. Um, combat analysis to be done still. Uh, speed on him. So I've got him clocking pretty quickly. He's up at 282. Um, how have I done that? 19 on there. Obviously, that's a 30. 13 on a health mod. 14 there. 13 there. And jewel in my mod crown. Uh, that's my fastest mod, I believe. Plus 21. So, yeah. And... Um, that's where he is there. Grand Moff Tarkin. Uh, I do want to do Callous Conviction. I really, really do. Um, he was getting interesting. And then CLS came out and wrecked Empire, basically. So, Which is a shame, because I do like the Tarkin lead. Again, it's a plus 30. And there's also the Expose once um, their health reduces. 229 with the 30 increase puts him at 259 um, potency is reasonably high that's uh, a factor on there because he gains boosts through his potency or equal to his potency Kylo Ren um, crit chance and potency mods 192 speed um, he's one that actually does Add speed, I think it is, it is unstoppable. It's not as unstoppable. Which one is it then? Well, there's something in there that he had, he gains speed. Yeah. If I just. There we are. Kylo takes reduced damage from percent health damage effects and gains 10 speed for each debuff on him. Whenever Kylo uses a special ability, he gains damage over time for two turns. So he boosts himself as well. And that's, yeah, so he gets quicker. Han, of course, is maxed. And as you can see, I've got some crit chance and offense mods on him. 3060 physical damage. 1713 on there. Yeah. He could probably, and 214 speed, he probably could actually benefit from that. But I've only got one, and I'm. Just, oh, crap. Where do we get to? We got to Han. No, you can see who's next up is Grand Admiral Thrawn. Uh, everything except for his lead at the moment. Speed wise on him, 262. So he's again clocking in a reasonable rate. Yeah, it's 112 boost. Yeah, I was going to say it's more than a bit reasonable. So how have I done that then? 12, 14. 13, 14, 14. And of course that's the 30. Yeah, that's how I did that. All right. Now we're back to, how are we back to Jin? Uh -huh. Uh, it's changed order. Well, that's no good. Darth Maul, 
I will return to the top and go over. So Darth Maul is completely maxed uh, speed-wise. Again, took some speed off of him. I did have him running at 204. Um, that's why that mod's there, if you're wondering. Uh, it was just to give, still keep some speed on him. Big's already covered. Sith Assassin we've already covered. All right. Mother Towsin. Mother Towsin is fully maxed, as you can see. Um, speed and a bit of potency on her. 213, so that's 243 is what she's clocking at. I really should make her quicker. Um, first order stormtrooper fully maxed and quite quick 207 and now I need to go over who I've missed out of the top line so Soko Tano Fulcrum again fully maxed and she's got some health and offense. 225. What, what have I got here then? Offense with 10 speed, protection with 13 speed. I might be able to boost that, can I? Maybe not. I'm not playing that game at the moment. Um, oh, so it's the speed there. That'd be better, but it drops her by 11. That, that would be a better mod. Hmm. Wow. Nine speed, and of course the statutory 30 speed there. So, Soko Tano. Off the top line, who we haven't looked at is Commander Luke. Everything except for learn control is maxed and 242. I'll have a look. I will have a look. So that's Commander Luke. Don't know if we covered Nihilus. Nihilus is another fully max tune of mine and a bit of a mishmash here it was uh, I do need to sort this out actually um, it was more the speed uh, he has suffered for it although he still manages to do very well as lead against um, GK Zaris Anyone that I didn't cover, I think that is it. Hope it was of some interest. Um, if I didn't cover stuff that you wanted to know, please, by all means, leave a comment and I'll see if I can address that. For now, thank you for watching.